Hello, my name is Robert and today I'm going to show you how to do simple landscapes in Blender really, really quickly. So first of all, I want to actually delete all my scene. And if you're going to File, User Preferences, uh, you want to look for the Add-on la Add Landscape. And you want to make sure you have this che uh, checked and you want to press Save User Settings, okay? So if you press Shift A in the Mesh uh, area, there is a landscape option so if we press that uh pretty cool some pretty cool mountains appear and down down here we have some options to manipulate uh this mesh so first of all the sphere option just uh, pretty much makes a rock that's not very useful the smooth just makes it smooth just like a regular mesh this would this would be flat which is kind of ugly so we want to make sure we have this on smooth uh, the subdivisions, uh, 128 is okay to see what you want, but once you're done, you probably want to uh, raise it up quite a bit, especially if you want to use it for a game or something like that, because it's going to have a really, really big scale. Uh, the mesh size just makes it bigger, and okay, here comes the interesting stuff. So for bases, it's basically the kind of texture it's using to produce this um terrain so if we use pearl and it will change or boronoi or something like that i actually really really like pearl and so i'm going to use pearl for this video and the type is sort of how of like how it handles that texture there are different kinds i would suggest you to try it out i really like the the regdom fractal and it kind of gives it like uh that uh, look of a newer mountain, of a younger mountain, really spiky and stuff. So we have uh, the random seed, and this pretty much just changes how, how, um, just change it a little bit, which is pretty nice. We can also add some offset, some noise. We can also add some depth to the texture, which will pretty much just uh, give it more resolution. Although we probably, you probably can't really see a difference because we actually have. Our subdivisions really low we can also add some offset which kind of uh, makes it go higher if we add up and the gain does pretty much the same thing actually we can also invert the texture which will make the invert the texture sorry that will make the mountains the landscape sorry look different so if I press invert it what it does it inverted the texture so it looks a bit different Okay, the height pretty much just makes it higher, as you can tell. And the plateau, uh, if you know what a plateau is, it's when a mountain goes up really high and then it goes completely flat. So if we lower our plateau to like 0 0.5, uh, that's actually way need less, uh, 0 0.2, you see it goes flat, which is pretty, pretty cool. You can also adjust the sea level, which is this area right here, although I wouldn't do it because it deforms the plane a little bit. And we can also choose what kind of falloff we want. So for type 1, we have this uh, really small falloff. For type 2, we have a bigger one, a more dramatic one. We can also have a falloff in the Y or X axis. Or we can choose to have none at all, although I don't really understand why you would want that but oh well I like type 1 the best actually and you can also add strata which are kind of like layers so let's just put type 1 and let's make um, three levels as you can see it looks pretty pretty darn cool and actually if you play a lot with the strata you might be able to uh, make like a canyon scene which is pretty cool so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or any um, questions, make sure to comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.